but I'm grateful that it wasn't us. Because I talked to my brother. He lives in Florida. He lives uh, on the lake. <laughs> it's a man-made lake. Hey, I'm and uh, I said, uh, brother, how's it going? He said, well, since I got my boat out, took it up to the shop, he has his own business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After storm did I call back, brother, how's it going? <laughs> he said, sis, I took my boat out of the water. I went to the shop today. The boat's in the water. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, the roof got out. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. And he sounded very disgusted. I said, well, let me ask you this. Did anybody get hurt in the building when the roof collapsed? He said, all praise be to God, nobody got hurt. I said, that's the most important thing. I said, because materialistic things that you can't replace should be covered by insurance. I said, and I know it's disheartening, brother. I said, but we're going to move on and say, thank you, God, that none of the people I employed got hurt when they went into that building this morning. Down the roof so we just got to think on the, the good things that God is doing in the midst of what that we're going through. Because he's, he's doing some things. That he is, he's doing some things. So I'm grateful for this day that God seen, let me see for whatever that I need to do. We want to mark our calendars, Oak Hill, for the month of October. We're probably busy this month and starting out next Sunday. The pastors and members of the Philippian Community Baptist Church invite you and your congregation, me, Dr. Landry, and Oak Hill, to be our special guests for our upcoming Texas, Louisiana Day on October the 9th at 3. We look forward to receiving a word from the Lord through Pastor Landry. We also ask that your choir, our representative, be prepared to bless us with any song service that they are prepared to render. Verse 1 of Psalms 100 reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you land. So as we come together to praise God through song, prayer, and most importantly, the word, we look forward to these two adjoining states, Texas and Louisiana, being represented in a big way. They're about making this a big day in the Lord. Again, we look forward to having you join us on this special day. And please feel free to contact either myself or Pastor Stevens. That comes from their secretary, Sister Janice Polk, and Pastor um, Rothman Stevens Jr. And that's on next Sunday at 3. Then on October the 16th, the third Sunday, Pastor Trimble and Revelation Missionary Baptist Church family brings greeting to you in great love and joy from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are excited to announce that we will be celebrating our family and friends on Sunday, October the 16th at 3 p.m. Please make room on your calendar to be in our presence for this celebration so the saints of the Lord may lift our voices as a collective unit with great praise. Great praise. Our guest speaker will be Pastor Emma Landry and the Oak Hill Missionary Baptist Church family. Our theme is God Forgave Me. The scripture is Colossians 3 and 13. And on the next day, which is Monday, October the 17th is the kickoff of the American Baptist Progressive State Convention of Texas, which will convene at the White Rock Missionary Baptist Church at 8008 Darius Street. The zip code is 77028. 77028. The musical is that Monday. Our sessions start Tuesday through Thursday at 6 p.m. The women is on Tuesday night, the men are on Wednesday night, and Thursday night is the President's night. And uh, our pastor will not be able to make it that, well, he'll be there on that Monday, but he will be working the rest of the week, and I'm sure he'll give his
comments on that. So that's for the month of October. Thank you. And we will have the bus for Revelation. We will have the bus for Revelation. Brothers and sisters, as you all know, they changed my work schedule. And a lot of times, I probably hadn't thought about it, but when I work from Tuesday to Saturday, 1 to 9, I cancel out a whole lot of things. Children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, 
give good things to them that ask him. I want to use what I said this morning. God answers prayer. Is it him? Amen. And the power of your belief makes a difference. Amen. 
Amen. God answers Amen. prayer. Amen. And the good thing about it is, we need to understand, when you hear it is written, that means it's forever settled in heaven. In other words, this is what God said. Amen. You can question it, you can do whatever, but it's settled in heaven. Amen. Now, if it's settled in heaven, that means God gave you a contract. Yeah. This is true belief. Yes. I want you to get this now. Right. This is true belief. Before I bring you into Matthew, watch this. I'm going to tell you what 1 John. John had to say this. 1 John 5, 13 and 14, 4. Yes. And set the tone. I write unto you, Father, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abided in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. In other words, you've got some strength right here to understand what we got here. That was the two. This is also, I want to give this, I gave you the wrong one, it was uh, 1 John 2. This is what I want you to give you, 1 John 5, 13, 14. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, yes. and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. This is the confidence yes. that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, hey. he heareth us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. God answers prayers. Amen. And if we know he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. So we find right now that the Bible talks about the written word and it was verbalized in the past, but now it's written down for us. For us to be able to see that God answers prayer. And this morning we're going to be looking at this chapter here in Matthew, but I've got to back up for you to the fifth chapter. Actually, the reason I got to do that is because we're going to find out Jesus is just now starting his ministry. That's it in the fourth chapter. <clears throat> chapter 14, and I'm working my way up to 7, 7 11. But it says, Jesus, seven, uh, fourth chapter of Matthew, uh, verse 13, and leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is beyond the sea coast and the borders of Zebulon. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulon, the land of Nephi, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee, and the Gentiles. Yeah. The people which sat in darkness saw great light, right. and to them which sat in the region of the shadow of death, light is sprung up. So we find the reason why when Jesus came there, after he got to be tempted in the 40 days in the wilderness by the Satan. Then he begins his ministry. And it says in verse 17, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Sometimes you'll see, Sister Cynthia Lewis, you see the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. To the Jews, they did not speak or wrote, write the name Jehovah. It was so sacred. That's right. Once a year they would write it down and speak that name, then they would have to go take a bag. It was so important to that Jewish faith because of who he was. Yes. Everybody today do not understand the power of that name. Yes. He's our creator. Yes. He's everything about us. Yes. To the Jewish people, they understood who he was. So we find out Jesus said the kingdom of heaven, which means the same thing as the kingdom of God. Yes. Because now we start looking at the characteristics of what's expected of people and what goes on in heaven is what Jesus can make tell us. Yeah. Because what we're going to be looking at here is he did the greatest sermon ever was that was a sermon on the mount. Yeah. And what he did was he was dealing with people and started giving them principles to understand how you can hold on and what you need to do to make it in life. Come on. Amen. The struggle and challenges you face. Oh, yeah. Verse 18. So the face said, and Jesus walking by the seaside of Galilee, he picked up a couple of brothers. Mm -hmm. He picked up old Simon and Peter <laughs> and Andrew's brother. Casting them in the sea. They were fishing. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishermen of men. So he started to see the beginning of his ministry. Yes. And he started walking around in the evangelistic work yes. of pulling up and letting know he's going to teach them how to be fishermen of men. Brother, 
us is here in Oak Hill, we, when we understand what God is doing for us, He's helping us become fishermen of our brothers and sisters that are lost. Amen. 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 He wants to start telling our story about what God has done for us. Yeah. To help somebody who don't know He's real. Amen. People Amen. are praying, and bottom line is, if you are praying according to God's will, He's going to answer that prayer. Yes. Yeah.
Brothers and sisters, they call this to be attitude. That's right? When I was in the Navy, I had a chief who's always asked me after a weekend, say, how's your conduct? So every day the Jesus sat out there and looked at the crowd and realized the conduct needed an attitude adjustment. Amen. He had to tell them what they were doing, and the bottom line is he's giving them kingdom character so they can have the characteristics of what they need to change and modify their behavior all to do with thus. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. I'm going to tell you what you got to do. Say it right now. He says, bless. Are the poor in spirit. Mm -hmm. Theirs the is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Blessed are they that mourn, yeah. for they shall be comforted. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, some of us are still mourning and grieving. Yeah. We yeah. say, don't worry about it. I'm going to comfort you. Yeah. So we find out Jesus is giving you a confirmation yeah. of what he's going to do. Amen. Barbara, we're looking at Matthew 7, chapter, verse 7 through 11. God answers prayers. But look at number 5. He says, Blessed are the meek. They shall what? Inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst what? After righteousness. For they shall what? Be filled. That's just whatever your need is. He's qualified to meet your need. He's qualified to let you know I don't care what your circumstances are. That's why I tell you, I can't help you. I can only tell you the answer. The answer is Jesus. You got to And you got to believe. Yeah. But it's like one over Humberdale down the road. 
with you. I want you to understand what he's saying. That don't make no sense to you right now. Amen. You don't feel blessed. But you are. Amen. I can hear most from one cotton right now. Jesus said that. Yeah.
you tell Jesus I preached it? That's right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I said, you know, 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 I said, you Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 
Amen. He said, Our Father which were art in heaven, yeah. hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Thy kingdom come. Yeah. Thy will be done in earth yeah. as what? Is yeah. in The bottom line is, this is what time is in heaven. This is what he expected in heaven. So here is the standard. Yeah. The bottom line is, we down here trying to get up yonder. Yeah. So we need to change some stuff we can do. Yeah. Let some stuff alone so we can make it in. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to make it in. If you don't make it in, because I ain't been trying to teach you. Yes, right. And to show you. But yes. thus, Paul to give us this day uh -huh. a daily bread. Yes, sir. You know what we need to eat. Yes, sir. Might not be a steak, but you might go make me a poke chop. Right. This is 
a command that to be obeyed. He wants you to obey this command. And that's what he said, act. Swallow your pride. Yes. Get out of my, my, my pity party and, 
And if you want to change, you got to seek it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you seek it, you're going to find it. Let me be straight on one thing now. He's going to change your circumstances. Come on, yes, you will do it. Yes, he is. You will do it. Come on now. Hallelujah. I'm going to warn you right now. Yeah. It ain't going to be no more pro me. Yeah. Uh-huh. No pity party me no more. Because if you seek it, yeah. he's going to change. That's it. That is right. And that's what I tell you. Don't look back. Look straight ahead. Yeah. Better days ahead. Come on. You know what's behind you. Yeah, you do. You don't know what the future looks like. But he knows the future. He knows everything about what you yeah. need. Yeah. He already knows the city you're going to make. He knows the test you're going to find. He already knows what direction you're going. But keep looking toward the hills. But when God is out here, that's all out here. Reserve the Israel. 
I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. Yes, he did. Thank yes, God for it. Thou mayest be my salvation. Yes. Unto the ends of the earth. Yes. Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, yes. the Holy One, to whom man despised, and whom the nations abhorred, to my servant rulers, kings shall see and arise. Yes. Princes also shall worship, because the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. Yeah. Mm. That's it, Christ. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. Are you ready to select? Yes. He's a man for you. Are you selected? The foundation of the Lord. Yes, sir. This is a confirmation of the Yachts moment. Yes. The encouragement of the moment. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
his prosperity. Promote his prosperity. And spirituality. And spirituality. Saint is worship. Saint is worship. Ordinances. Ordinances. Disciplines. Disciplines. And doctrine. And doctrine. To contribute cheerfully. To contribute cheerfully. And regularly. And regularly. To the support. To the support. Of the ministry. Of the ministry. The expenses of the church. The expenses of the church. The relief of the poor. The relief of the poor. And the spread of the gospel. The spread of the gospel. From all nations. From all nations. We also engage. We also engage. Thank you. 